Hi guys, Oshin Oi here, bringing you free tutorials on how to make a website. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to start using the free Elementor page builder for your website. Let's get into it. So now we have Elementor installed, we want to start using it on our pages. So we're going to take a look at our home page. So we go down to pages and we go to home. Okay, so when we get to home, we're going to, so up here you'll probably see edit with Elementor. I'm just going to select it from down here because I've already been on the page with Elementor. So you'll come to your home page and it will look quite different now. As you can see on your left hand side, these are the Elementor elements that you can just drag and drop into the live preview of your site. So this is what your site looks like at the moment. And we're just going to start looking at a few of these elements just to give you the basics on how to use Elementor. It's really easy to use and we'll just give a quick tutorial here now. So pressing that plus button will open up this selection of section structures. So we're just going to choose one that has two columns. As you can see, the blue is the section inside the blue and here is one column, here's a second column. We can add elements into the columns. So let's add a heading in here. And I literally just dragged and dropped it over and you already have a heading, fantastic. And then we're gonna drag and drop a video below that. So there we go, in column one, we have a heading and a video. So for each element, there are different content style and advanced settings. So for a heading, you can have a title. And within that, you can see there are different settings. Also in terms of style, you can style the title and there are many, many more settings that we will cover. Then with the video, you can see the difference is that there's a video, you've got a source um, and you've got options for video. So you're not gonna have those for a heading. And again, different settings for the style and advanced is pretty similar. And you'll see that the advanced settings are pretty similar for, for most of the elements. It's really the content and the style that differ. So if we look at the header, um, we can just change that to just headings, something simple. And we can have like you can change it to a h1 tag if you're doing seo 100 h1 tag very important and um, you can have a link in here so if you want to link it to your about page all you have to do is select that and it will link to it if somebody clicks on it great um a style you can adjust the color by just going in here and playing around as you can see it's now red don't really want that but that shows you how easy it is topography so it's just a size you can make it bigger and smaller you can add weight to it to make it bold or less more thin um or you can just leave it default and then again you've got so many more options down here so you can just go and play around with them and see which ones are best for for your heading and then you can have text shadows and blend modes and again these advanced settings we'll look at those in more detail as they come up. So in terms of the video, you can have videos from all of these sources. So I'm gonna take a YouTube video from this series and paste it in here. And as you can see, boom, straight away, has it, able to play it, fantastic. Player controls are on, so you can see all these controls um, and you can see them here. You can add these settings to it as well. Um, and you can also have an overlay, which is just the picture that appears over the video. Uh, then in terms of style, you can adjust the aspect ratio, but we're just going to leave it as it was at 16.9. And again, advanced features, very similar to all the other ones. Um, the main advanced features are the padding and the margin. So this just adds space at the top, as you can see, as we're adjusting the top only. We can adjust them all together by putting it in here, as you can see, there's a bit of space between the blue line and the video now on all sides. And 
margin functions in the same way, but uh, we'll take a look at those further. So then in terms of some more elements, if we look at the button, we can add a button here by dragging it and dropping it below the video. We can align it straight away. We probably want to align it in the center, just like that. We can adjust the size, put it as medium. We can add an icon if we'd like. We're not going to do that. Um, and you've got different types. It just changes the color. You can change your text. I'm button. And you can have your link as well, similar to what we were doing with the heading. Then in terms of style, a few more options here. Um, typography, same as the heading. And then in terms of your color. So you can have your text color as white. You can have your background as blue. Okay, and then, so as you can see, when we hover over it, nothing happens at the moment, but we can change that. Have your text color change to blue and your background color change to black. And why did it change to black? Uh, okay, that's annoying, but we will just play around with this here now. And there we go, it'll change. Sometimes there's just a few little glitches on it, but there you go, you'll find a way. Um, you can also have an animation for when you hover on it, so just to make it pop out a bit to the viewers. And you can have a border if you'd like as well. So if you have a border, you need to have some width on the border. So you can just do that by adding one all the way around. And if you want to have a different color, there you go, you can see the red border. Um, and you can adjust the radius. As you can see, it's a little bit curved at the moment. That's because the default has a little curve in it. So if we just select this, it goes back to zero and it's straight corners. If we go to 50, that's just on one side, that looks really weird. But if you select them all together and select 50, they all change. Okay, uh, we're just gonna put that back to default. Default, you can do by deleting all the, the numbers within the box. Okay, so we have a button with a border around it and there's a nice hover effect. And again, the advanced. So we can have a motion effect. Let's just put a motion effect and show you how to do that, how easy it is, fade in right, and that's how that's gonna happen. So you can have it slow, fast, normal. And this is how soon it should come in. So it's done in milliseconds. So 1000 is one second. So let's take a look at how this is looking. So we can take a look at it by selecting this arrow here. That's just a quick preview. Or we can also go down here and select this eyeball. This will open up a new tab and this will show us our changes in real time. So each time we press update, which I've just done, it will refresh here and show us what our changes are looking like at the moment. So as you can see, it's updating now and the button came in after a second. So there we go. That's looking really cool. And let's move on from there. So let's close this section and let's add a new one again. And before we head on, if we just take a look here and a look here, we don't really have too many options in terms of editing. So we can have more options by going to preferences and editing handles, choosing yes. Okay. So straight away, we can see we've got the duplicate section option here and we've got the duplicate column add column and delete column that come out here. So it just makes our life a bit easier. So then let's go to the background color of the section. So let's actually, no, let's go to the height first, minimum height. Let's go 400 pixels. Nice. So these, this number is in pixels. You can adjust that. You can go up and down um, to make it bigger, or you can do vertical height as well. Which, uh, which does it in percentage of the screen. Um, viewport height, viewport width. But we're just gonna go with pixels of 400. Okay, so then we can have a background. So we just wanna put a standard color in here. We can just choose this green color here and straight away, boom, our background is green. So let's put in heading into this column over here and let's put in a video as well 
just like we had. But let's change the background color of this column. So we've selected the column here and we go to style, background color. Let's make it a gradient just to show you what a gradient might look like. So as you can see, the gradient is going from one color to the other. You can play around with these settings here to adjust how it's displaying. Um, and then what we're going to do, we can add some uh, padding around this. So as you can see, it's as if our content is shrinking, but what's really happening is we're just adding space, 14 pixels to each side of our column. So if we delete those, then it goes back to being the full width. Okay, and then if we do the same for the margin, what's happening this time is that the column is going in by 10 pixels. So you can see the green now is appearing within the selected area. So that's the margin as opposed to the padding. Again, there's the padding, no green comes in, it's just the background of the column. Okay. And then let's go to the mobile and tablet view. So selecting this icon down here, we can look at it in tablet form. So this is what it will look like on a tablet and in mobile form as well. Okay, so this is one of the great advantages of Elementor because we need to design for mobile devices nowadays. And when we're designing in desktop view, it could look completely different in mobile view. So to make this apparent, let's add in an image into column two over here. So to add an image, all you have to do is choose image, select one from your media library, or you can upload files if you'd like. Um, but we're just gonna add in this fav icon, which you'll find up at the top of your site. And now, when we go to the desktop view or the mobile view, we can see that the first column is appearing above the second column. Okay. And this is great. Let's actually make this a bit smaller. There you go. So what we want to do is, well, we'll go back to the desktop, but we can align the image to appear in the center of the column. So by selecting the column and then doing vertical align middle, it shifts our image down to appear right in the middle of the box. We can also put it as a horizontal center. So it's in the middle along the horizontal line as well. Okay, so now it's displaying in the center. And let's go to the, let's show you how the changes can be different on the mobile device as well. So at the moment we can see our alignment is the default one, which is to the left. But if we want to change that on mobile, we can select this icon here and go to mobile and select center. Okay. So that means that on the mobile, it's in the center while on the desktop, it's the default, which is to the left. So whenever you see this icon, it means that you can adjust the settings for the individual device. So for example, if you look at the style and if you go into typography, the size has this option. So you can adjust the size on desktop, but it won't affect the size on mobile. Well, it will until we change it. We can change it on mobile back to something smaller. So there we go. We take a look at that. And you can see that we have retained our changes. So it's going to be once you select, once you change on desktop, it's going to be automatically changed on the other devices until you change it manually. So, for example, on the tablet here, we need to change it to make it smaller if that's what we want to do, and also on mobile, which we have done. Okay, so that's those are some great features of. Elementor and just a very basic run, run through on how you can use some of the functionalities with this amazing page builder. So 
we'll leave it there for this video. In the next video, we'll give you an example of how to make a web page a bit like this, just using the Elementor, the free page builder. This video is part of my series of free tutorials on how to make a website. To make sure you don't miss out on any videos, hit the subscribe button and turn that bell icon to all. That will mean you'll get a notification every time I publish a video on YouTube. See you in the next video and happy building.